I, I suppose look there, there isn't a whole pile to be said um, we just thank them I suppose for their, their honesty and their effort throughout the year and I think you know it's just time to Billy after the match uh, you know the game was a lot closer for most of it than what the scoreline suggests and I think the I think the key passage of play in the game was we had a free to go off within four just before half time and all of a sudden Warford, or sorry, Limerick break up the field and we missed the free and Limerick win the kick out and they, they score a goal you know, a goal an unfortunate goal for us and I suppose look, that really killed the game like and um, it's just very disappointing to, you know it, it's supposed to very very hard I think and I suppose if you're outside the camp and you, you're looking at that scoreline today you're thinking like what are these guys doing like but like they're they're very honest lads in there like and they, they're inside they're hurting and um, you know um, they put in a huge effort all year and you know I suppose that's not reflected in the scoreline today and I, look Limerick are a serious outfit as you know I, I said to a few people there during the week I, I saw their game against Derry and you saw the performance that Derry put in the league final last week like they blew awfully away uh, you know it could have even been bigger scoreline they were did so many chances um, and Limerick live with them like they were only four points in it like in like Derry are serious outfit Limerick are on the road a, a good long time now I think the consistency of having Billy there you know shows there today they have a they have a great system they have a lot of big guys you know very well conditioned and look they're serious outfit and they'll they'll they really will well rattle cork like so we're just very disappointed for our own lads I don't think I just don't think any player goes out and they, you know deserve to get a beating like that you mentioned consistency and continuity Shane how how important is it that this group of Waterford players stick together and come back again in 2022 yeah look I, I know I you know Connor was in the press this week talking about that like about the turnover players all the time and he spoke about it again the dressing room there that you know you you can't you can't consistently you know uh, turning over players at the rate Waterford are and like, but it's very, very hard, I suppose, for these guys to keep committing. There, you know, they, you, you're looking at it today and they're thinking, why would, why would I bother? Like, but like, there's a good cohort of guys in there, and if they can stick together, and you know, like I, I remember my brother was involved with them right there for two years when Billy started off, like, and they were in similar difficulties, you know, and they were at a huge turnover level, but they got that consistency, and I suppose look, getting up to Division Three has helped them as well. Like, I think that's what we kind of need to do. We need to get keep the cohort of players that we have. Add a few more guys in there, you know. Um, you know, we're going to go to look at the management of the Mercy Management team. We'll, we'll travel to as many uh, club games as we can there when they start in October. In the football is starting, and just try to build up a panel. But I think you you need to keep the basis of what you ha- what you have there at the moment. Working those guys, you know, again the strength and conditioning and stuff with Jerry Fitz. Like again, you, if you're, the boys are coming in a massive turnover, coming into the camp again, you know he's starting from scratch with them. So you need that basis of players, and I think Limerick have that. Those guys are on the road a good while, like you know, nice like Carver and all these guys. Like they're, they're serious, they're serious footballers, and I think that consistency they've had with Billy being involved for so long, and the consistency they have within the group, and they're adding in one or two players then every year. Like I think that's the key to it. How frustrating is it, Shane, that you don't get another game to work with with these players because? players in the lower leagues they need games to try and develop you've only had four this season I'm sure you would have liked to have had at least another game maybe in an All-Ireland qualifier this year Yeah look I think it's very disappointing you know I, 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 think, I think most club championships aren't starting until later in the year anyway so I think they, they could have fitted in the you know even the Talton Cup or something like that you know I think it's these guys have worked so hard they've had a very I know they, with the Covid situation we had to have a shortened league and all that but these guys have done unbelievable work so by themselves for a lot of the time you know we've had very little time when we started there I think it was in the 19th of April it's the 26th of June now like you know it's it's, it's only two months like it's, so it's you're 10 weeks with the lads they've had four games and you know, we were down a game as well because of London like and like, that's not making excuses because Lim- we weren't going to beat Limerick regardless you know playing the way we were play, play, playing the way we did today but I just think it's very disappointing for guys they're off now for the whole summer like we're not be back now till you know they've no club football till probably October they, they're not going to have you know inter-county again till maybe end of December or something like that you know you know what the story with the, the, the proposals haven't been sorted out for the league so it's just disappointing I, I, I do think that like I understand why they did it and I'm not complaining and you're not whinging about it but it would have been nice to have a had a second go Talton Cup game or something like that I think you know that's the guy, these guys I think they do they put too much into it to come out today and like there's going to be lots of teams out of the championship this weekend you know after putting in huge effort like and they're gone the middle of June you know I, I, you know, I think all our best players in the country, you know, are sitting at home for the summer now. You know, and that's all over the country. And you're you're going to have that in the north as well. Like there's there's going to, there's going to be big teams gone as well. Like and I just think that's disappointing for inter county footballers. How much more difficult, Shane, is it for new managers like yourself? You know, like you. Uh 
I must say you've only four matches this year in your first first season in charge of it. Yeah, look, we were coming into it, I suppose, when I got the job, um, you know, I hadn't even seen Waterford Club games because, you know, it wasn't something that I, that I had my, my eye on or anything like that. So I suppose the reality was I, I didn't, I, you know, I had, didn't know the players, you know, so we were really coming with a blank canvas. Like, we didn't know the players. Like, we were relying a lot of on the guys who, who had been there and speaking to, you know, the previous manager and we said well, for people who were having involved in the management team. So it was, it was very difficult to, to get you. At this stage, no, I'm only I suppose I'm learning things you know and I know we learn every day we're out as a man, as a management team but I think I'm in the last few weeks I've got to know and I suppose seeing what players can do and you know the, what we need to work on and I, we said during the week myself and Paul White were having a chat like we could have we could have wrote a book during the week of what we need to do like and you you only had a few days and that is obviously like the amount of training sessions we've had uh, we, we just can't you couldn't you couldn't do it and you're trying to fix so many things and trying to get so many things right so it has been very difficult as, in, as a new manager but look, that's no excuse like you know you know, and Antrim, Antrim had a new manager they got promoted in the beginning like you know but it, I suppose it, it's just frustrating on our part that we you know we didn't have that much more time but look that's the way it has been this year and hopefully next year we get a good run in it and, and we're able to see what, see, see what the situation is